it's me Heidi here with Kiddos Corral and today I want to share another uh, 31 day challenge video with you guys from the book Love the Home You Have by Melissa Michaels. I highly suggest you get the book. It is a great read but today's challenge is your handbag. Um, it's all about cleaning out and reorganizing your purse or your handbag or even your um, your briefcase because I know that um, a lot of women carry a briefcase to work or a laptop bag. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys my uh, purse that I cleaned out. Um, this is it. Um, it is, I think, I think it's called Morona and if I'm saying that wrong I apologize but it is a brand from Target. My son actually got me this purse for Christmas not last year but the year before. Um, and it's in navy blue and I love these gold um, kind of design on it the buckles I love that but anyways um, I, I keep this front part open because I put my house keys in there when I'm leaving the house but I did take the time today to reorganize and um, I'm kind of glad that I did because it probably really needed it so um, the first things that I have in my purse are my sunglasses and they are not anything spectacular or expensive. Um, in fact, I don't even know what brand they are, <laughs> but these are my favorite ones. They fit uh, so much better than the other ones I have um, and I just like the coverage that they give, but these came from uh, TJ Maxx and I think they were about like $15 or something like that, but they were a gift for me. Um, I keep a highlighter. You guys know I'm a highlight crazy woman when it comes to grocery shopping or list shopping. Every time I buy something and I have it in a buggy, I take the highlighter and highlight over it um, so that I know that I already got it. And that's all I have in the front pocket. And then I keep a thing of gum. And I just buy this once a month. I buy one of these from Audi's in the checkout aisle. I think it's like a dollar. Um, and I really like this gum. And then I have an empty one. And I put other candy in here. I know. Crazy, right? But I do. I put... Um, actually going to put uh, candy corn in here but I like having candy on hand I'm just that way but um, anyways especially like if my kids sugar drops and you know I need to toss some candy at them but um, I do I have the the mint gum I love these and then I, ha I keep an empty one because the containers are awesome um, I don't know what it is but I just love the container um, and so I, I always try to reuse all the containers that are good quality. I don't know if I'm the only one that's like that, but anyways. Then I keep some uh, Pampers baby wipes because you never know when you need to wipe a table or your hands or you get something sticky on your shoe or just something crazy. These just come from a Dollar Tree and just keep them you know tucked away here in my purse the other thing that I carry are eyeglass eyeglass wipes and these are from the Dollar Tree and I like to have these for especially for my reading glasses which are not in my purse right now they're sitting over there but anyways um, I like to keep them because a lot of the um, the reading glasses are like this plastic and I don't know, um, but like everything kind of just sticks to it and it just like makes this film and it's very not pleasant to try to read through that. So I always keep eyeglass uh, cleaners in my purse. Then I have my wallet and I got this at thrift store. Um, it holds my cards and everything in there and I don't want to show you guys my personal business. So um, just a wallet, nothing fancy. And then I have my cell phone and I have the Samsung Mega and my son got me this case and, and understand that I'm like a total oldie when it comes to new gadgets. But this is awesome. Like when I'm sitting at the table and I want to watch YouTube and I'm doing a craft and my hands are busy, it actually has this little thing that you can pull out of the back. I don't know if you guys can see that. I got it for Christmas 
this past year and um, you just snap it into place and it's like a little easel so you can hold your phone up and um, you know watch whatever you want to watch I love that something so so simple be so fantastic but anyways I don't know I'm probably sharing something that came out 20 years ago but you know uh, it is what it is oh I forgot this middle zipper um, I am a <laughs> major germaphobe guys this is all not this though this is all hand sanitizer in my purse um, I have the winter scented from Bath and Body, Body Works and I have the eucalyptus uh, from Bath and Body Works and the reason why I got the eucalyptus is because I have guys and when we're out together they borrow my hand sanitizer like when we're out to eat or whatever um, and you want to make sure that your hands are good and clean um, and this is a guy smell like they don't want to smell like this is sort of cherry smelling they don't want to smell like cherry but nevertheless I get these uh, refillable containers and I have the big giant bottles of Germex in my house and I just keep this one full um, all the time and in fact I just refilled this today that way I know that I have it on hand but I'm a major germaphobe <laughs> um, this bag my son made me which um, Lucas made me this and if you guys don't know he's very he sews and he knits and crochets and does all kinds of awesome stuff but he made me a bag and it's even lined I don't even know if the camera even picks it up but you can see that it's lined with this really pretty um, pink flowered like material but in here I have a um, what is this this is um, the cherry blossom is my favorite from uh, Bath and Body Works that is my all-time favorite scent it reminds me of my grandmother when I was um, a young girl she used to have like these big giant powder puffs and I don't know if I'm the only one that remembers these things but this powder that she used smelled a certain way and I got to use the powder when I went and stayed with her and it was glamorous back then okay guys I was little but anyways um, this lotion smells like that and it reminded me of that as soon as soon as I used it it reminded me of my grandmother and I just love this scent and I'm probably gonna need to buy some more sometime but I keep a hair pick because Lord knows I I probably need some help today y'all um, I just pulled it up in a bun because um it is really cold here today it's sunny but it's really cold but it has been super windy for the last two days and I just got so aggravated with my hair being all over the place I just pulled it up in a bun so if I don't look you know normal in this video Pfft. just ignore what I look like anyway I got a um, a nail file the word will come to me <laughs> it's a nail file <laughs> and then I have a Bath and Body Works um, I don't even know how they even say this but it's a lip balm and it's in the mint I've had it forever probably need to discard it but it has this little hook thing that I got for Christmas one year and I just love him so much and penguins are Dylan's favorite thing in the whole world especially when he was younger um, he has got a whole wardrobe full of penguins he would kill me for telling you guys but he loves penguins but anyways I got this and he thought this was so great I love penguins um, he just loves animals I have a um, a baby lip bomb and I will tell you it's just about shot I mean honestly I um, probably need to throw it out because it's just about gone I love this stuff oh and and nail clippers I always keep nail clippers with me um, because I'm always telling my kids cut your fingernails I don't know if everybody else is like that but I do um, and I have a Blix, Bliss Tex Moisture Melt lip balm I have really bad dry lips and probably you can tell in probably all of my videos that I'm always putting lip gloss on I always have a film of lip gloss on of some sort some kind of uh, chapstick or something but anyways that is all this is kind of like my beauty bag 
Now, when Dylan was in the hospital, I have really gotten out of the habit of having it, but I always kept a bag that I kind of called my stay overnight bag. And uh, because a lot of times we would go in for just what was a regular checkup and he would end up having to spend the night because his counts were all over the place and stuff. And I would find myself without things. And so I started being prepared. I got smart. And so um, I have a soap, a little tiny soap. Um, I have a alcohol wipe. This is awesome for cell phones or if you get a boo-boo or something that, you know, a alcohol wipe I always find um, helpful. I have a moist towelette. Actually, it's like a feminine towelette, you know, for women. Anyways, um, I got in a habit with Dylan because I had to take his temperature all the time and I got in a habit of carrying a thermometer in my purse as well as toothpaste and a toothbrush because I'm going to tell you something do not get in a situation where you have to spend the night somewhere and you don't have a toothbrush and a toothpaste because bad breath is like the worst thing when you got to talk to doctors and nurses or anybody for that matter bad breath is bad so I always kept a toothbrush and some toothpaste um, but that is it but actually when he I have started carrying less because of the fact that his treatments are over, but I used um, to. But I love this purse. It is not a huge purse, and I like that for a change. I'm used to carrying a mega purse, but I do like the fact that this one is not super super large but it's big enough that it actually carries um what i need in the purse so this video is all about uh your handbag and getting it all organized and cleaned out and i feel so much better to have a handbag all put together um and ready to uh go out and anytime i need to leave the house i got you gotta have a purse um so, and you know, a purse is where we keep candy in because kids, <laughs> my kids are like, oh, mom has it. It's in her purse. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. And give me a thumbs up on this video. And I will be talking to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.